What's up guys, I'm back again and um, got a pretty interesting topic for you today, um, which is money, all right? And I'm gonna try to get you to think about money in a way that you've never thought about money before. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying money is absolutely 100% worthless, okay? Espe especially as it exists now, all right? Um, take a dollar bill or a $5 bill, $10 bill, $100 bill. Money doesn't actually anymore represent anything that has value to it. Money represents debt, okay? In a way, money represents slavery, almost, if you want to think about it that way. It represents a, a promise for you to dedicate your time to, okay? Um, it didn't always used to be like that. Money used to represent gold, used to represent copper, okay? I like take uh, pennies back in, uh, 19, in the 1980s. Pennies used to be made of 95% copper. And eventually, they had to take copper out of pennies because the value of the actual copper was worth 1.5 cents and it was going over the value of what the currency was actually supposed to represent. So they, they've changed that too. Not only are our, our dollar bills not backed by gold anymore, but our pennies aren't even made with um, you know real copper. I mean, they're made mostly of zinc and they're made with about 5% copper. Um, so everything you have in the, in, in the way of money is really worthless. It's not actually worth anything. They went so far as to take the copper out of the pennies, right? And, you know, I mean, why even bother? Copper's worth something. You know, you use it for your electronics, your wiring, whatever, and they're trying to do the same thing all around the board with all forms of currency. Um, they're trying to make the currency worthless. The only thing that that currency represents is an idea. The only thing that makes it worth anything is its perceived value. But perceived value is not always actual value, right? Things that have actual value are things like a home or things like uh, a car or uh, food, you know, a tree that provides the food or chickens that provide the eggs or, you know, the land that cows can graze on, the cows that provide steaks and, you know, and milk and, you know, things like that, you know, stuff that, um, that you can, stuff that your survival actually depends on, all right? And that's the danger that we're facing with money right now. It's a real problem because it gives people a false sense of security. And as we've seen in many aspects of the world, right, parts of the world, if your economy collapses, okay, and your, your cash doesn't really actually have any legitimate value, then it puts you in quite a position. Not many of you are gonna be able to survive if you're depending on the money you have in your bank account. Guns and bullets are worth more than money. Um, bows and arrows are worth more than money, okay? Like a, a bullet, uh, a decent sized bullet for hunting, is, sometimes runs you 75 cents to $1.25 or maybe even $1.50 depending on the type of round, okay? Some bullets are worth more than a dollar bill. Um, those are things that, because those are things can, that you can actually manipulate the physical world with, and you can't really do that with money. Basically, if the dollar, if the value of the dollar were to go down, or if um, whoever owed the debt for that dollar were to default on the loan, right, or default on the loan, that dollar wouldn't be worth anything, but the value of a bullet would still retain its, its general value, because a bullet always has usage. Right, a gallon of gas can always you know, be used for something, used to fuel somebody's car. Money and currency is supposed to be based on, on things that people will generally always have a use for and things that can always be traded for something else, like goods or services or whatever. One of the biggest problems we have with, with money right now is that it provides a false sense of security, okay? Um, for example, especially since it's not backed by anything, you know, at one point it was backed by gold, at one point it was backed by oil, and those are things that you can use for electronics or for fueling cars and whatever, but you can't really use debt for anything. Debt is just, a, a, like we said earlier, a representation, okay? But um, money is now being kind of abused and mis misused from its original purpose. The original purpose of money was to make trade more convenient, you know? So if I have a, a bucket of apples and I wanna trade somebody for oranges, but they already have all the apples they need, I can use money instead, and so on and so forth. If they need to trade for something um, and whoever they need to trade with doesn't need any oranges, then they could trade the money, right? So that's what money is supposed to be for. And now money is used for everything and that's not good, especially, um, Especially, you know, the way that taxes are set up, okay, that you're, you're never really off the hamster wheel. It's like they're trying to make you need money, you know. Even if you have a property or a house that's all paid off, 
and you're self-sufficient, you have solar, you have your own water, you have your own food or whatever, they're still gonna try to charge you property tax because they still wanna keep you in the game somehow. That's what that's all about. They never want you to be truly 100% independent. So they use things like public services and this and that and the other thing to, to make up an excuse for why you need to pay for something you already own. And we'll get into that in another video. We'll get into taxes in another video. But um, long story short, you know, money is starting to become a real problem. And we need to figure out how we're going to make our way around this, especially with the advancement of technology and um, the idea that, you know, humans over the next probably 10 to 15 years are going to have to work less and less and less. Yet we still have this system that requires more and more and more. Um, so um, just food for thought for you guys, you know, next time you look at a dollar bill, you know, like look at it for what it is. It's just a piece of paper. The only thing that gives it that value is, um, like I said, the perceived value and perceived value can be um, very deceptive, right? And we're not the ones who created this perceived value. It's, it's somebody up here who's trying to screw with the rest of us, who is trying to corral everybody with this idea that money is God and that you need money to survive and you don't. It's really, it's that system that needs you to survive. And until we start trying to reverse things and, and make our way out of it, okay, nothing is ever really gonna get any better. If we're gonna hold on to this money system, then we're gonna have to change our money back to representing an actual physical item, right? So that it could be traded for other physical items, right? It's not, the, it's not money that builds a house. All right, materials build a house, wood builds a house, uh, metals, okay, uh, hammers and nails, tools, okay, those are all things that are actually worth something, okay. Money, um, you know, that represents an actual material good can be used to trade for another material good, okay. Um, but the idea of money existing as debt is going to get us in a lot of trouble. It already has gotten us in a lot of trouble. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, well, not for today. I'm probably gonna make a couple more videos because I need to start knocking them out here. Um, but that is my take on money and, um, and what it's really worth and the problems that it's causing. Uh, another thing you guys need to look out for is digital currency, okay? Because if they try to switch over to that, you won't be able to do anything without the government knowing about it. And that's always bad news. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, look up another if you uh, like this video. Uh, I got plenty more coming, uh, more on topics like this, trying to, you know, open up your mind and get you to think about things a different way and to try and get you to look at things as they are and not as somebody else wants you to see them, okay? Uh, so, yeah, all right, I'll, Jules out. I'll see you guys later.